today to introduce you to the all new bearing buster. This is a brand new tool used to remo remove blower bearings from HVAC rooftop units typically like commercial um, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of how this little guy is going to save you time and money. First thing typically on a blower on your bearing you have a locking collar that has to be removed before you can remove the bearing so that's where we'll start. Usually you have a allen key to loosen on the locking collar. We're going to Loosen that up, and usually about a quarter turn from the Allen key is a hole that you could use to jar the thing loose because it actually goes on there, turns, and locks onto the, onto the bearing itself. So I'm going to put a screwdriver in this little hole here. We're going to take a hammer, we're going to knock that loose, pull that right off. I've already removed my driven pulley off of this shaft and now I'm going to shine this shaft up. We're going to start by doing a little bit of prep work. Got to sand in front of the bearing real good, especially directly in front of the bearing where it needs to break free. You want to get the shaft good and shiny. Now in this case using the bearing buster you're going to want to get a little bit of the debris off behind the bearing on the shaft. As you can see it's pretty rusty. This is an old blower. So I'm just going to make sure I got some of the rust and debris off of the shaft behind the bearing as that's where the tool sits when you use it. And that's really about all you have to do back there. Now that I have the rust and debris off the shaft, I'm going to lubricate in front of and behind the bearing on the shaft just with an all-purpose lubricant. And now is where we get to the typically hard part about removing a bearing. As you can see, there's, there's really not much room back here to get. You'll never pull this bearing off of the shaft with your bare hands and it is near impossible to get a tool back here to knock, to knock it off. The bearing buster goes right inside here and fits right on the shaft behind the bearing. It slides freely and all you have to do at this point is grab hold of the bearing buster on both handles and give it a quick pull forward to impact the bearing like this. The bearing is not only knocked off of its seat, but it's knocked on the floor. I don't know if you've removed a lot of bearings out there, but I've had to resort to cutting torches, heating things up, trying to shrink metal down to get things to come apart. Um, ever since the bearing buster, I've not had to do that, not once. Um, only thing left to do here is to take the new bearing, put it in place, and now that the new bearing's in place, we put our locking collar on, you turn it until it slides in and then turn it till it gets snug. Now we take our screwdriver back in that hole, knock it clockwise to tighten that. Back onto the bearing and onto the shaft. Now we take our Allen key, we tighten up our set screw. And we are done. We have a brand new bearing in this 20 plus year old blower assembly in probably about five minutes. Um, the bearing buster, again, here it is. Comes in three different sizes. It comes in three quarter inch, one inch, an inch and a quarter, which is typically what you're going to run into in light commercial work. Um, 
This thing's going to save you money, it's going to save you time, and this is something you have to have on your truck. So get yours today, and uh, you'll, you'll, you won't cringe every time you have to go put in a new bearing. Trust me, this thing's got to be on your truck.